This is the best, no? Best design. It's a Volkswagen Beetle. Welcome back to our channel! So now we are here in National Aquarium in... Abu Dhabi! Yeah, in al -Kana. And uh, yeah, we are going to have an all-inclusive package which is uh, at 100 dirham trip, right? Yeah. But we got a discount. Okay, let's go in the inside of the largest aquarium in the Middle East. As soon as you went inside, there is a photo section. So this is the section that they treat as a green screen. First attraction is the UAE National Treasures. So in this section, you have this pathway and the pathway has a glass floor. The biggest turtle that I found in my entire life is here. Look at the size of the sea turtle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In this section, we have this lime fish. It's very beautiful. See those fins. And also, I don't know if I would like to see it on the beach, but there is also some eel. Probably I will find when I see those kind of eels, because it looks like a snake. Go! Okay, proceeding to the next section is a Red Sea Wreck. In this section, we feel like we are on the inside of the shipwreck, right? Yeah. See these floors? And also the visual of like a shipwreck. The sail was there. So it's a seahorse. You know, I just uh, find it in a Pokemon, the horsey. <laughs> now I'm seeing it real. Look at this giant rover. They are so huge. We are about to enter the Atlantic Cave and uh, as per the name, it's uh, designed as like a cave-like. In the side, there's an aquarium. Even in the ceiling, there is also an aquarium. So the virtual club is sleeping. Oh, you can do it. Yeah, you can do it. <laughs> this aquarium is designed like ancient sunken city. Each side. After mix, the, 
the eye will be transferred to next to each other. And to be honest, I saw this one on real on uh, Philippines in Pakistan, and we thought it's a uh, an edible. So, but in the end, we didn't purchase it because we don't know if it's safe or not. This is what I'm talking about that we found in uh, one of the city in the uh, Philippines and it's like the salt fish. We are about to enter the next section which is the sub and in the center of this section you have this giant replica of sea snail. Apparently, in this aquarium, it's literally made of huge animals, a sea animal. And here's another example of it. See, my hand is like very small though, compared to the size of the animal. We are now in the section of Ring of Fire. So these are the creatures that you can find in the places with the Ring of Fire. Here in the Ring of Fire section, which is has an aquarium in the middle, and in in that aquarium you can go inside, and it feels like you are swimming with a fish. This aquarium is designed like a moai, which is found in Chile, and Chile is a, a part of the Ring of Fire. This aquarium is designed like a sumo wrestling star, which is a part of Japan, and Japan is still under of the Ring of Fire. We are now entering ocean magic. How cool is this one? Can you see them? A telephone, but it doesn't work because there is a lot of fish. Fishes. The telephone booth. Yeah. And I here. think this is the greatest. This is the best, no? Best design. It's a Volkswagen Beetle. And inside, it's a lot of fish. It's so cool. This one is like a seahorse, but it's actually a dragon. It's a sea dragon. We are now entering frozen ocean, which means it's the living things or living sea creatures in the Atlantic. Look at this cute looking bird that is living on the Atlantic. After the Atlantic section, you can find this Cafe Divino, which is uh, one part is a cafe and the other one is you can go inside and from the inside you can see this bowl. You can have a closer look of the birds from Atlantic. We are about to enter the flooded forest. What you can expect here is there is a lot of reptiles and also amphibians. Just be mind that in the corner of this hallway is also a snake replica which is a bit scary for some first timers. This almost scared me. The snake. I thought it was real. This is the real life scale of the snake. The 
eel that is beside the eel that is behind me is the electric eel which uh, can generate electricity that's why it's called electric eel the crab is so small it's on the second hole so small it's on the staircase this is another species of the frog it's it's a green tree frog they are eating birds and they have birds they're like a no like a plastic yeah it's like a, the yeah. the toy they the toy frog But you know, I don't like so much the reptiles. See? So now this is the Goliath, the tarantula. And it says it's a bird eating spider. And it's big as this. Well, it's only one spider. So in front of us is Capybara. Capybara, and it's the biggest rodent in the world. Pig. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a pig. <laughs> oh, look at their feet. They can swim for five minutes. They can? Yeah, they can swim for five minutes uh, with their uh, nose up in the water. Then they can also sleep in the water. Oh! Yeah. I think they are fluffy, no? <laughs> they are like stuffed toys. And that one is the smallest uh, one of the smallest uh, monkey. Monkey. Primate monkey. It's a. 60 meter. Centimeter, monkey, I mean. Squirrel monkey? Yes, squirrel monkey. Luckily, we have a chance to watch this uh, bird feeding and I think this one is uh, a part of documentary. So, these are the piranhas. In, their, uh, in the popular belief, they are very ferocious fish in the world. Actually, they are being nervous because they won't attack unless it's a group of piranhas or a pack of piranhas is going to attack one prey. They are so calm, no? And they don't even move. So we are just here sitting on one of the benches and in front there's a string race. We are about to enter the Botina Island section which is the biggest aquarium in the Middle East. It's like a tunnel and it's very long. So here's it's like a, an old propeller of a, uh, of a ship. And of course, a lot of fish. Here in the aquarium, there is a total wreck of the old trees. So nice. And there's a fish. It's sitting right on the top of the turbine. <laughs> so we are like in under the shipwreck. And there's a lot of sharks.
Look at this shark teeth. Shark teeth, yeah. Indeed. Yeah, I think this is a replica of uh, Megalodon's teeth. Okay. You know the Megalodon? No. The biggest shark that was that was living before. But I'm so amazed with this aquarium because it's so uh, huge, you know, and long. You are under underwater. underwater. We just finished the first uh, leg of our yeah. trip and uh, the one that we finished so far is the one that was included in 105 dirhams. And we have two more uh, activities which is uh, the Beyond the Glass and Butina, Butina Dao. Six Do. Butina. Do? Okay, Butina Dao. So uh, right now we are grabbing some uh, quick snack which is a sandwich and uh, it's cost uh, 26 dirhams and a water. <laughs> she already grabbed <laughs> the sandwich I'm so before before I take a, a video. Wow, it's nice. <laughs> this is the beginning of the second part, which is the butina dough. Basically, you just need to write a dough, and this area is a replica or some collections of animals that is can be found in Botina Island in Abu Dhabi. So this Botina doll is a, a replica of the Botina Island. Apparently Botina Island is uh, prohibited to visit because uh, it's protected by the government. And now we are seeing the actual replica of what you can see and also the sea creatures that you can find in Botina. We call this Botina boat ride because this is a representation of what the island looks like. Even the replicas of those mangroves, those are called grey mangroves. The replicas of the Arabian seagulls, the flamingos, the ospreys. These are the actual species of plants and birds in the Botina island. And then the fishes below us, these are, most of them are also present in the actual Botina. This is the third part of our tour, which is the Beyond the Glass. Basically, it's just explaining all, all the things about their operation in the aquarium. At first, we go to this uh, section that is a Botina Dove, which we went earlier. Then go to the dive compressor room, where the divers get their uh, oxygen tank for feeding the fish. The next stop is the rescue mission of the marine life, which is this one is uh, a whale shark. You can also find these floating devices that they used in rescuing a whale shark. This is the isolation room which the marine life plays on the fresh water so that the parasite will die and detach from the animal. The next room is the top view of the bull shark tank. This is also the place where the diver dive to feed the fishes. And the next segment is a timeline of from the plan to building and until the aquarium is established. We are now inside the hospital section of the National Aquarium and what you can see here is the eggs of the shark and also some marine animals that is being prepared to go back to the sea.
This next room is for the recovery room, which is when uh, an animal gets a surgery and also some kind of sickness. They remain it here in this pool so that it will be on shallow water. Here in the next section is the food preparation room, which we didn't enter. But you can see outside of it, there is a menu for all the fishes. The next room is the operating room where all the surgeries of marine life is being performed. And last but not the least, the water quality lab which they examine the water if it's uh, correct in saltiness and correct with the fresh water mixing. So part of our trip is uh, fish feeding. I'm going to feed the fish. This is where we are going for a Botina boat, Botina show. So we finished our trip and we enjoyed we a lot. Enjoyed it and then I really really love the marine <laughs> animals. So that's why I'm so thankful for our friend. Yes, to give the ticket and also to capture uh, our moment. We bought this one. Let's go some. And we have this Asha souvenir. Yes, and also we have it the pictures online also. You can download it after 24 hours yes <laughs> so that's it and see you in our next vlog bye